This is a quick video guide on how to get the max level unstable artifact. It's artifact level 126. I never did the Nathanos Blightcaller quest on this alt, so I'm going to start there. I port to Ogamar, and I'm going to go quickly talk to Nathanos Blightcaller, who is located where the War Chief's uh, main office is. So you talk to Nathanos, it gives you a cutscene. You can skip past that cutscene or watch it, it's up to you. And then after that, he sends you on a quest chain to go to Silithus. The quickest way to get there is to port to Aldham from the Cataclysm portals, which are located in the northwest part of the uh, main part of Ogamar. And once you're in Aldham, you'll see a giant sword off in the distance. You want to fly toward that giant sword. Uh, well, the, in in Silithus, there's going to be an initial quest giver. There's also going to be some goblin quest givers. I'm not going to do any of the quests from the goblins because those are optional. You only have to do the main quest line. It's a total of four quests, or actually the ones that are required. So you have to go talk to, you have to go motivate the lazy prospectors. Uh, this is quickest to do in a group because the quest credit is shared. So I decided to join a group. I go, I motivate the 10 lazy prospectors. And the quest that I'm skipping right here is the ones where you can kill some uh, alliance rogues, some alliance NPC rogues. Uh, if you're not on a demon hunter or a hunter or someone who can otherwise track stealth, uh, I notice it just kind of takes a while to do that quest. Like it takes, it wastes like two to three minutes, um, which isn't a very long time, but if you're doing this on several different characters, um, it could save you about 30 minutes by just skipping that. And so knowing that it's not needed helps. Once you motivate all 10 of those peons, you get to turn in that quest and start the second quest that's required. Don't do the desert research. If you notice, I didn't click on that. I'm only going to do the Twilight Survivor. So this, these goblins here that offer me quests, I'm completely ignoring them. Fly to the far west. You're going to have to kill the guy in this little purple hut right here and collect his head. It took about a minute and a half for a for me to wait for this guy to respawn. Uh, as soon as he spawns kill you again, it can be helpful to be in a group with this just because he has so little health that if you don't notice him spawn and everyone just hits him with a little bitty attack, he's gonna die too quick. Fly back to the east, turn in that quest, and then now you're gonna give uh, be given a quest to talk to Khadgar. Uh, once you talk to Khadgar, he sends you to Magni, who is again in the far west side of the sword. So you t turn this into to Khadgar, he's going to tell you to talk to Magni, you fly over there, and then once you talk to Magni, he's going to give you a quest to, guess what, talk to someone else. So you're going to do some more flying after you talk to Magni and grab his quest. And to finish the quest off, um, you're going to have one more quest. Uh, quest. Again, it's just turning things in. There's nothing to fight at this point. And then while you're flying, you can get some screenshots of the blood of the uh, giant Sargeras sword that's here in the middle of Silithus. Uh, go ahead and hide your interface with Alt-Z if you want to get a really good screenshot. So uh, we turn in that Blood of Azeroth quest, and then this person actually has you talk to a uh, kind of makeshift flight master. So you don't have to manually fly there at this point. You can talk to this flight master, go AFK, and uh, the little uh, NPC wyvern takes you all the way to the boat, the little uh, sky boat here, and you can turn this quest, see a cool cutscene, and enjoy your level 126 overpowered artifact.